Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup. PGA final thoughts for the Masters. It is a Wednesday morning early here. I will uh, try to get this out around lunchtime. Uh, pretty busy day all the way around and then uh, wind it back in. We get E9 tonight with Kenny Kim. Final thoughts, ownership, rankings, all that stuff will be out later this afternoon as we wind everything up for the 2023 Masters. Looking forward to it. Should be a great week. Um, we get to the weather here in a second. Some final thoughts. Quick pod, 15 minutes. Had one yesterday if you want to go check it out. Uh, if you'd like to join us this week, use the code MASTERS. 30% off any package. Includes a seven-day risk-free trial. Uh, stage with you for life. 30% off for life. You can move up, down. Uh, so if you upgrade, still get 30% off. Start a weekly, then go monthly. If you like it, go monthly. Then you can go annual, whatever you want to do that. Um, you sign up today. You get the first week free, so you'll basically get all the Masters and all the RBC Heritage uh, for that one free trial, and then hopefully you stick around uh, for the rest of the year as we go to PJ Championship, US Open, and the Open uh, with all the other events. RBC is a Millie maker. Uh, it's an elevated event. They have qualifiers for it th this week at the Masters. Uh, 4444 looks to be the big one. I don't know if they'll have a small one or not, uh, but for sure we'll at least have one Millie maker as we have three this week for the Masters. I'll be doing giveaways again. Um, I have a winner for today. I'll probably do some winners tonight in the E9. Uh, so that'll be for the premium members only. And then I'll be doing giveaways um, next Monday on the pod for people that left comments and stuff like that uh, on this one and, and so forth. On the If you sign up, again, anybody that signs up from March 1st on is in the drawings for the March to the Masters giveaway. We'll be giving away a high dollar ticket to the PGA Championship. So probably like the 555 or something like that. We'll have to see how the contests look. Uh, we got a Gups Corner gift pack. Uh, and then the third prize will either be more DK money or maybe a putter or something like that. I'll think about, we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, but we will have three winners. It'll be about $2,000 in giveaways all, all together. Uh, so anybody that has signed up or does sign up, through Monday, um, we'll be entered in that drawing. I'll give it away the week after the RBC, so we let the free trials and things run out and see who's all actually stayed on board. Uh, so rate and review us on iTunes. I'll get you into the free drawings. Subscribe and like this video on YouTube. That'll get you more entries into the free drawings. And then uh, leave a comment on who you think wins the Masters. That'll get you into the drawings I'll do Monday. Listener League, I think we're down to like less than 100. Um, so let's get that filled up you know, early afternoon. So we're not, you know, pushing to get that thing done. Uh, I think we will. We'll be able to get that filled. Link is in the description if you don't already have it. My final thoughts on the week. Uh, I will go much more in depth in this with Kenny Kim tonight. Um, we'll have time to kind of listen to the final press conferences, uh, a few more pods. There, you know, we got live shows going on today, chat, stuff like that. Um, get a little bit more weather information. Um, but this one, just quick overview. I, I think the weather... I mean, if we, if we had, to, if I had to say something, I would definitely say PM AM has an advantage as it sits right now. It does look like Friday is going to be not as bad rain wise, but the winds really start picking up in the afternoon. That that would only be the only difference on the wave, but that's a, the furthest point in the two day window we're looking at. I don't think we see any delays Thursday or Friday at all. Um, very little rain in the forecast. Thursday looks great. Winds aren't even going to blow at all. I think it'll be pretty scorable. Um, Thursday and then Friday morning chance, you know, there's chance of just hit or miss showers all day Friday, but the winds look still low all the way till almost like two o'clock. And then they really start picking up and get some 25 mile an hour gust that four, five, six, seven o'clock time frame. So those guys that go out really late Friday, um, you know, could, could be battling it a little bit. Um, I think the latest tea time is like two o'clock our time though. So my time, so three o'clock Eastern. So, you know, there's a few that, that are going to get an hour or two of that. I don't know if that makes or breaks the week or, or do anything like that. Right. So maybe I look at it right now as a tiebreaker, um, you know, but I'm not definitely not going all in on, on like a PM AM or anything like that. Um, Saturday is going to be wet. I mean, it is. The good thing is, is right now the systems don't look electric. So not, it doesn't look like you're going to have bad storms. I think it's just going to be more about because it's going to rain all day Saturday. You know, do they have to pull them off because of the course, you know, getting too wet? I, I don't know. I don't think so. The winds are going to be, you know, nine to 10 miles an hour with some gusts, 20. It's just going to rain all day. It's going to be cold too. <laughs> so 
Uh, Thursday high is 86. Uh, Friday high is 75. That's the other deal. That late, those late guys, as that system kind of moves in, the winds pick up, the rain may start, and the temperatures start dropping. So that's why I say I would lean a PMAM if you're, if you're really down. If you're down to two people and it's tied, I, I'd probably go that route. Um, but I'm not overly you know, going all in on anything like that right now. And then Saturday just continues rain all day. And it's going to be a high of 48, 49 degrees. So it's going to be cold, wet, uh, really got to grind. Sunday looks a little better right now. Uh, may not even get any rain Sunday. Uh, so winds will be up a little bit, but temperatures do get back up to about 60, 65, maybe. Um, and I think we get the tournament in on time. I don't even know if we get any delays, which that's the best part. I just want to see them play and, and all that. Saturday sucks, but that'll be probably post-cut. I think they 100% get everything in Thursday and Friday, um, unless something crazy pops up. So now you're talking about guys that made the cut. They got a chance. You know, I'm not factoring that at all in my deal. Maybe a little bit if you're thinking about who can grind out Saturday, um, you, you know, and, and then have a chance on Sunday when scoring looks to be a little bit better. Um then pop back over here. Highest stone still about the same. Rory, Scotty, Connors, Spieth, um, M and Finau kind of getting up in that range a little bit, 19, 20% maybe. Uh, then a little bit of a gap, Rom and Day uh, right there. So those are kind of the, you know, call it eight guys I think will, will drive the most ownership. Um, guys that have moved up for me. And, and I'll be, I think Rory, Scotty, Rom will get closer um, if people start going, well, if no one's going to play, or Rom's going to be X amount less. I'll just play some ROM. Um, so I think all, they wind up being a little bit closer than, than one initial would, would think. But I do think Rory Scotty wind up having more ownership than ROM in general. But I think ROM will still be 17, 18% or more. So we're not talking about like Rory Scotty gets 24 and ROM gets, you know, 14. I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it'll be, you know, fairly spread out up there. Um, I do like Scotty and Rory as my two right now. Um, not because of the PMA. I know they both have that. That's not really as important. I just, in general, I think they're coming in w with a little bit better form and, and how they've been playing. And if I'm splitting hairs between those three and the ownership's not dramatic, uh, I probably lean those two. Uh, Mito's moved up for me some more. I, I kind of still like what I see with him. Was a, I liked him a lot last year. He's cheap, 7,200. Um, you know, so he can make some things work and I think he's sub 10%. Um, DJ is a guy that, that, you know, he's going to stick around that 11, 12%, 8,800. Again, I, I don't have to have DJ win. Can he top 20 this thing? Certainly. Uh, and I don't mind having some of him, Tom Kim, probably just more of a strong MME play for me. He's going to be four or 5% owned. I don't know that he makes a core, uh, but I do like him. I, I, you know, I like, I think his game in general, I think maybe going under the radar for 7,700. And there's so many plays there in that 74 to 7,700 area that there, there's going to be some good low owned guys that you can take advantage of. And then Willie Z, I, I kind of mentioned it yesterday. I'm, I'm going to be on that. He's cheap. He's going to be maybe seven, eight percent owned. Um, and he's flirting with a potential core play for me uh, to make a potential three max pull for sure. will be in my MMEs. Um, Guys that have moved down, still more cow. I, I don't really have much love there. Um, Rom, as I mentioned, only because, you know, I still may play him. And, like, if I'm doing 150, I know I'm doing 150 in the $5. Uh, still figuring out how I'm going to handle the Millie Makers. But uh, I, I, probably, I may play him there, right? And, and then decide, you know, where do I want to get off some ownership or leverage that, that allows that. Um but right now, if I had to choose between the three, he'd be the odd man out. Cam Smith, um, like I said yesterday, just not going to play him. He has great leverage. If you want to take a chance, it's certainly worth it. And I think the toughest call for me is going to be um, Connors. I mean, I think guys like me that faded him when he, <laughs> we knew he was going to be chalk and he still smashed. Um, it, it's hard because you're like, man, you know he plays here well. He's coming in great for him, just one. But he could wind up being the highest own period. And I think he'll be even higher in your, you know, 222, 888, you know, 555, stuff like that. Um, gives you great leverage on the field. The bad thing is he's not really priced up that much. So it's not like he has to do a whole lot to pay off. Um, but that much leverage, like if I'm doing, if I wind up doing a 222, lineup I won't have Connors I'd rather just like fade him there maybe get overweight in the five dollar and move on right now I lean 
you know, not playing much of him at all and just, and just hoping it's one of the years he, you know, just doesn't pay it off. Um, we'll see how that comes around by, by the time I get to tonight. He's a good player. Everything about it's solid. Uh, it's just ownership there simply. And he t- technically has the PMA in, which, you know, I, again, not factoring that much, but another plus for him. Guys I am staying strong on, Rory, Fleetwood, Cam Young. Uh, clear leverage plays to me ownership-wise. Cam Smith and Homa will be the two up top. Fitzpatrick will clear. He may be the lowest owned out of all eight, nine, and ten k. Uh, so that's that's enticing to me. Like I'll I'll play a Fitzpatrick um, at five percent in this field. I, I just will, especially his skill set matches well here. And and you know I know right again. He's he said he's not as sharp as he should be because of the injury and all that. But he is pain free at eight thousand. I don't need him to win. Right. I, I just need him to. You know, be alive, top 20, have a chance at a top 10 on Sunday uh, at that low ownership and the price he fits. So, uh, you know, great pivot off like a Sung Jay. Uh, I don't mind that at all. And then Burns and Willie Z are, are two other low ones down there. So those five uh, are, are clear leverage plays in the, you know, 8,000 above. Uh, underdog mentioned it yesterday. I think that it, I think it's going to have overlay. Um, so if you go to underdog, you know, it's un- sometimes you have to scroll on their deal. Depends on if you're on your app or, or the phone, but it's uh, it's up there. Let's see. I'll just pull it up real quick. See what um, how much of it's full. It's right. Mine is the very first thing on my page, so you should see it under tournaments, lobby, home tournaments. Uh, it is sixty eight percent full right now. So you know we got about call it twelve hours. It will be midnight West Coast. Could it may get close to filling, but it's a good fun tournament anyways. It goes for all the majors. You can get a free hundred dollars by using GUP dollar for dollar match up to a hundred bucks. G U P link is in the description for underdog and prize picks. Uh, they're gonna have NBA uh, best balls. They'll have hockey best balls, and of course their marquee deals. The way they run the NFL best balls when those come rolling around. So go ch- check that out. Get you a free hundred bucks if you want to deposit a hundred. You deposit twenty, you get twenty. However you want to do that. Prize picks, my round one picks, uh, all birdie or better matchups. I like Young over Cam Smith, Cantley over Usti, JT over Reed, Xander over Bryson, Day over Answer, and Adam Scott over Bubba. So that'll get you twenty five to X. Twenty five X, I believe, is the uh, if you do if we hit all six. The good thing about doing the six is if you hit four or six, you get a little bit of money back. Uh, five or six, I think you double up. And then obviously if you go six to six, you'll get 25 X, something like that. And I'll have those out every night with, with my round roundly bets and stuff like that. Um, as well, my final five for one and done Rory, Cam Young, Sung Jay, Cantley and JT is kind of the, I think maybe, you know, if you're kind of back, you, you, you need a, not a Hail Mary, but you know, it won't be his own. I guess is the best way to say it. I don't think he'll be near his own as, as some of those other guys up there. Um, so I may, some of my worst uh, sitting teams, I may put a JT in there or something like that. Um, don't forget masters 30% off locked in for life. Seven day risk-free trial. Our winner for today is Anthony Michelin. Um, so hit me up Twitter, or if you are a member, um, I'll get you taken care of on that. We'll have more giveaways next Monday. I will be back. Uh, I'll get all the final articles and stuff out late afternoon. I, I want to digest as much as possible, uh, but plenty of time to still review everything. And then Kenny and I, I'll, I'll get that time out. We, I think we'll probably go around, you know, probably seven Eastern or something like that. I'll confirm with him on the, the live E9 chat and, and we'll talk it up in there. Hope you guys have a great Wednesday. Enjoy your day and we'll talk to you soon.